This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Whether your resolution is to save money, eat better, or save time, HelloFresh is here to help you do all three. Join America's number one meal kit today and say hello to your most delicious year yet with fresh ingredients and chef-crafted recipes at a price you'll like, delivered right to your door. This time of year, everyone's looking to revamp their eating habits and start the year on the right track. Let HelloFresh be your partner for a wholesome 2024 with health-forward options like calorie-smart and protein-smart recipes. They say breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and HelloFresh agrees. In fact, they're giving all subscribers free breakfast for life. That means you'll enjoy a totally free breakfast item with every single HelloFresh delivery. Click the link in the description or use my code and get free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. Make cooking less stressful and less time consuming and trust HelloFresh. Thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Go to the link in the description and use the code ROCKEDFREE and receive one free breakfast item per box while subscription is active. The 2024 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominees. Yeah, Rock Hall's back to their same shenanigans that they used to be. It's interesting because last year was the first year in a long time. I think a lot of people were really impressed with the lineup. This year, no, it's back to the same outrage and instant anger. And undoubtedly, someone will leave a comment saying, why do people care? No one cares about this. Obviously, a lot of people care if everyone gets this riled up every year. Let's see who we got for 2024. Announcing the 2024 nominees. Read the official ballot bios for the 2024 nominees and vote for your favorites today. Cast your fan ballot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mary J. Blige. Former nominee. A lot of people need to understand this. A lot of the nominees this year were nominees in previous year. Mary J. Blige, the queen of hip hop, soul. Mary J. Blige's anthems of resilience and empowerment have inspired a legion of loyal fans, particularly women, while influencing virtually every R&B artist of the last 20 years. Notice not a rock name. This is one of the first names that comes up, though. And I'll make my point about this right after the first three that I go through. Mariah Carey, singer, songwriter, record producer, actress, and diva. Mariah Carey's five octave vocal range, revolutionary riffs and runs, and dynamic career trajectory shifted the landscape of pop music at the turn of the 21st century. The indisputable songbird supreme, she continually reminds the world that the voice, too, is an instrument. See, that's a nice write-up. We're still not there yet. There's one more name I want to follow before I make a little argument. Share. Ah, uh, inimitable trailblazer for women in music and an icon of style, stage and screen. Share's voice and charisma has garnered her seven decades and counting of success. Not once was the word rock mentioned in any of this rock and roll, rock influence, rock history. None of that. And that's what people were upset about. Mary J. Blige, Mariah Carey, Cher. None of that. Doesn't matter. Rock and roll. Hall of Fame is not about being a rock star. It's not about being influenced in the rock industry, having rock music. It's none of that. A great point from one Joe Numbers from Wrestling Soup. They probably want to give Cher a big moment before she goes bye-bye. Of these three, I can see Cher going in. Sonny and Cher, the duo, they're not even in together. This is when he shares first, and now it's the time to get her in there. Big, huge, flamboyant, obnoxious outfit, make it a big spectacle. Yeah, this is the show for that. Mary J. Bly is previously nominated. Definite talent. Mariah Carey, they unfreeze her every November to do All I Want for Christmas, and she just rakes, on the, rakes in the money. An icon of music and TV and even film for decades. Still, this is not rock, and that's what people are upset about. The arguments that a lot of people are saying, I'm going to leave Cher on screen for this. It's the spirit of rock and roll is what people are arguing now. It's not being a rock artist, a metal artist, alternative. No, no, no. It's the spirit of rock and roll. Does Cher have that? Cher did whatever she wanted. Let's call that like it is. Does Mariah Carey have that? I don't know about that. Really? You're going to say the singer of Honey and Butterfly, the spirit of rock? Cher, uh, uh, uh. I at least see. Make all the jokes you want about her being the birth of autotune when she did the song Believe and that whole album. I at least see an argument for Cher and all her accomplishments. The spirit of rock? Uh. Dave Matthews Band. There are some jokes saying Cher has more rock history and rock and roll spirit than Dave Matthews. Yes, I could at least envision the arguments, even if I'm not a fan. They definitely are worth the argument of Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for all they've done and how many fans they still have in that jam band demographic that still sell out all their tours whenever they do them. 
And boy, oh boy, do they smell. The fans and probably Dave Matthews Band. They reek of skunk. That and his albums are just mind-numbingly boring. The live spectacle and show, them all playing to death and making jam band, that's what it's for. That I get. Decades of success. I didn't read the blurb. I'm sorry, let me read the blurb. Dave Matthews Band harness an eclectic sound and relentless touring scheduled to become one of the biggest bands in the world. Long, intricate solos, non-traditional rock and roll instruments, unique time signatures. Why is that a part of the depth? Okay. And an electric live show trademark, their unique sound. Yeah, they highlighted along the live stuff. Unique time signatures. Come on now. Is, is that all you can really say? <laughs> Come on. Or another hip hop duo. Many people have sampled and used their lyrics. These are lyric writers. Eric B. and Rakeem pioneered a thoughtful, poetic approach to hip hop. The duo revolutionized their softer rapping, internal rhymes, and soulful beats. They expanded hip hop and brought the genre to a new level of creativity and technique. The spirit of rock? I could see it. Think like you're a stuffy, Elderly man sitting at a boardroom table deciding who's going to get in to the Rock Hall of Fame this year. And don't think about the rock and roll. Think about the spirit of rock. And by that, I mean, who's going to get you the most attention to watch the live show and buy tickets? We're going back now, 70s and 80s. With a rock legacy spanning for more than five decades, Forder was built around the creative forces of Mick Jones and Lou Graham, one of the best-selling classic rock bands of all time. With worldwide sales topping 80 million records, Forder had an impressive catalog of hits throughout the 1970s and 80s, all still recognizable to this day. I can see going in. If I'm correct, they've been nominated before. They had a lot in the 80s, especially. I could see Foreigner going in. The spirit of rock? Sure. No one's going to argue a name like Foreigner, I don't think, especially when all the other bands that are already in. Best-selling eligible rock band currently not in the hall. Yeah, I mean, Foreigner was big in the US and Europe. Huge. Peter Frampton. I saw this name. I figured he was already in. I was surprised he's not in yet. Passionate songwriter, exceptional guitarist, and cultural touchstone, Peter Frampton is one of the few musicians who can evoke an image of rock and roll stardom with three simple words. Frampton comes alive. What the heck? Why? I'm still shocked he wasn't in already. I figured he'd be, he was just a name that was put in 10 years ago and everything moved on. Why hasn't Peter Frampton been in? From Frampton comes alive and everything he did live all the way to all the people he worked with. That makes this is, in my opinion, this is something that makes the Rock Hall of Fame look bad. Not, oh, they're going to put in Cher Mariah Carey this year. It's that Peter Frampton's on the same bill because he hasn't been put in yet. Jane's Addiction, nominated before. Jane's Addiction were the first to bring alt-rock into the mainstream. I don't know if that's right. The first to bring alternative rock into the mainstream? Is that really an appropriate way to describe them? One of the first I could see. They drafted the blueprint for modern festivals and four is the alternative nation subculture. Okay, they, Jane's Addiction really is behind Lollapalooza. Legit. And still kind of are. That one, I, I can understand. And for that alone, I can at least see me seeing a feather in the cap as to why to put them in. The first to bring alt-rock into the mainstream? That's questionable even by the standard of writing a blurb on the website to describe them a name worth keeping on here but i don't know is that a lampshade he's wearing on his head with the tassel I, I don't know i'm getting i'm getting distracted i'm sorry cool in the gang previously nominated in a career that lasted over 50 years, Cool and the Gang have been essential innovators in the sound of funk, soul, disco, and R&B, creating rock and roll's most danceable anthems. When you have the argument of spirit of rock, yes, that checks. You don't have to be the cutoff in jeans or hair metal or grunge to have the look. You know, you don't have to have the classic rock vibe. Something like this is fine. Lenny Kravitz. Okay, now here's for something that makes sense as a solo name for all he's done that is at least a good name to put as a nominee 100 percent rock god guitar hero soldier of soul lenny kravitz refused to let the industry confine him to any one genre allowing him to reimagine rock and roll for the 90s and beyond spirit of rock check a figure for many different genres check many different things that he stood for household name he had many different songs through the years he definitely has a spot he has an argument Totally, with this one's easy to figure it. And also, it's a name that you're not going to hear anyone argue. It's like, okay, I don't care for Lenny Kravitz, but yeah, I get why I would go in. And I like Lenny Kravitz, too. I'm just saying some people might argue that. It's less of an argument for him and more of an argument for Dave Matthews' band. There's going to be people arguing that one, but I still get why. 
they could be on the list. Man, every time I mention Dave Matthews, man, that dog keeps barking. I did you not like Dave Matthews. Oh, here we go. Hmm. This is the first time, if I'm correct, this is the first time they've been nominated. Eligibility just hit recently for them too, maybe a couple years ago, first time. Oasis, with expertly crafted lyrics and anthemic sound, Oasis Britpop took the world by storm. Is that the shortest blurb of all the bands? They got one sentence. (laughs) Man, there are Oasis fans who would be upset just because Mariah Carey and Cher got a bigger blurb than Oasis did. And even I know Oasis did a lot in the 90s, a lot. And they are, the Gallagher brothers are rotten people. I don't even think that's a question. That's more borderline factual. You can prove that with evidence. However, I get why they'd be on the list for accomplishments alone. And oh, what's this? Breaking news. We have a statement from one of the Gallagher brothers right now addressing the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Oasis Liam Gallagher, F the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. (laughs) That broke today. I figured it was important to share this with all of you. Oasis frontman Liam Gallagher has quite a different take. Upon finding out the band is nominated for penitential induction into the Rock Hall, Gallagher shared the following brief comment. F the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's full of... Bumba Clarts. Oh, he's drunk. They recorded his quote while he was drunk. If anyone in the chat would like to explain to me what a Bumba Clart is, please let me know. This is a genuine question. I don't know what that means. Gallagher doubled down on his disinterest when somebody asked him, saying, Don't waste your time, our kid. As much as it's appreciated, it's all a load of bollocks. Another user wrote to Gallagher, Do you really not want Oasis to win? Like, truly? I fully understand why you're initial, but we really, really want this for you. And no, Oasis deserves it like no other band. Gallagher replied, I appreciate that you do, but I honestly feel there's something very fishy about those awards. <laughs> Maybe the funniest response was Gallagher flat out saying, you know what? I don't need some wank award by some geriatric in a cowboy hat. Personally, advocate for Oasis getting in the Rock Hall of Fame. Just so there's a speech. Just like this. I will accept nothing less than Bumbla Clart. And they have to get the two brothers in there next to each other to accept the award. And they have to get in there long enough for them to start fighting. And I don't mean just arguing or bickering or talking over each other. No, five minutes is all you need for them to start throwing punches at each other. If you're seeing this on YouTube, once I chop this up and put it up, please let me know what a Bumbla Clart is. I legit want to know I'm not being facetious or just condescending towards it. I don't know what that is. Once again, show numbers with wisdom. Could any human have more ironically written a song named Don't Look Back in Anger? (laughs) Hey, he didn't take his own advice. He's telling other people how to act. Sinead O'Connor is lauded as fierce, brilliant, honest, vulnerable, rebellious, and unapologetic by peers around the world and the generations of music she influenced and inspired, including Alanis Morissette, Massive Attack, Janelle Monae, and Phoebe Bridgers. Spirit of Rock and Roll is a big fat check, more than half this list combined, probably. In the 90s, she was beyond taboo after her whole SNL thing when she was going after the Catholic Church at a time where the Catholic Church needed people to go after him. She did, and she paid the price for it but she still held her guns. She's a woman that definitely will be more appreciated now. Looking back, this is one of the awards you can give to someone that's already passed on and have a big tribute for him. That makes sense. Check. Fine. Again, look at the disparity, though, and I know I'm kind of blocking it right now. Um, Let me see if I can wedge this up a little. Come on. Wow, you can't shrink or freeze on the website for Rock Hall. That's pretty bad coding. Just one little sentence for Oasis. Nice little blurb for Sinead. Well, you know. So I just pointed it out. I was just making a comment about the coding. And then someone just pointed out ocean to ocean. Did they not pick a font that worked with the E and the tilde or the E and the emphasis in Sinead? That is correct. I don't know. That's not a WordPress thing either. I don't even know what that would be because they typed it all in caps. That's why. And that's why, because you can't do capital E with the emphasis. on. <laughs> oh, rock and roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne, who will undeniably be 
The headliner, for lack of a better word. Ozzy Osbourne has made a lasting impact on rock music and influenced countless artists. With his longevity, enormous impact, and iconic persona, Ozzy is a phenomenon unlike any other in rock music. Before anyone comments, how is he not in the Hall of Fame yet? Black Sabbath is. He's already accepted the award for that, so he would be a two-time... He is a two-time nominee, and then would be a two-time inductee. I do predict he goes in. Now that he's done touring yearly, like doing full tours, he might do one-off appearances, and his health... He's still making music and recording. He will be going and accepting the speech, and he will be be the main figure. I'm calling it now. I just cannot see it being anyone else. It's almost as if this year was built around him. They want to get him before he passes on. Sade have blended jazz, soul, and R&B to create a sound that's all their own. Laid back rhythms, elegant arrangements, melodic saxophone lines, and of course, the smooth, sultry, mesmerizing vocals of their lead singer, Sade Adu. Their songs of love, life, and loss resonate with listeners on a deeply personal level. I go back to the argument, the spirit of rock and roll. I don't know. I just feel like the spirit of rock and roll rebellion coming together to fight the system, jamming, just playing the music with energy. Sade has way too many accomplishments to not be recognized in some form. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Hey, I don't know. A Tribe Called Quest, the last of the nominees, multiple times nominated before. A Tribe Called Quest forever shifted the hip-hop landscape and expanded the creative possibilities for the genre. Their freedom of expression, ingenuity, and minimalist brilliance continue to inspire generations of hip-hop artists and fans. Yes. You know why? Spirit of Rock, they did what they wanted. They did not care. At a time where hip-hop was either evolving to one style or it was all about image, they didn't care. They did whatever they wanted. You put Tribe Called Quest in there, I'm happy with it. I'm fine. They show the votes, the fan votes, fan fan ballots. They act like it means something. It really doesn't. So you're looking now at the 2024 Rock Hall nominees in a big list. It really is a wild shuffle of a playlist. And I don't mean that as an insult to the names. I think I've already made my point. Your 2024 nominees and the argument of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is now being aimed toward the spirit of rock and roll. Are there names on here that belong in there for that definition? Absolutely. Are there names on there that should be in there for their contributions to actual rock music? 100 are there names on here that are made for name value and to get attention for the Rock Hall so that way it looks good like they're trying to be not only diverse, but expand what the hall can be? Yeah, it's very telling. The reason I bring some of this up and so many people already commented about a music hall of fame. One person who's been nominated before and has inducted Pink Floyd into the hall of fame, the owner of the National Wrestling Alliance. Billy Corgan calls for a Rock Hall rebrand. Why don't you call it the Music Hall of Fame? Many other people are now saying what Mr. Corgan, William Patrick Corgan, Billy Corgan, whatever he prefers to be called, is now echoing. Why don't you just call it the Music Hall of Fame? I quantify rock and roll as more of a spirit thing, which I was also saying in the Rock and Roll is kind of doing too. I think it's hard for people to understand the definitive qualities, especially when you start putting in pop artists who are strictly pop artists. Now, if the argument is that over time, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame has morphed into an institutional culture, which is more the Music Hall of Fame, then I think that would be easier for people to understand. The one argument that I wanted to pull out from there is that no one understands the criteria that well outside of they had to have had a certain amount of years pass from their debut release, they can be eligible for a nomination. He makes a fair point about a Music Hall of Fame. I, for one, think that would be rough for rock and metal. There are so many people that have argued, why aren't these names in, in the chat all night? Why isn't this name in? Why isn't that name in? This name's not in, why isn't that name in? If this turns into the Music Hall of Fame, you can kiss any rock and roll nominees goodbye for a long time. Cause then the rock hall becomes the music hall and the music hall will only focus on big names from other genres. Rock and metal are not popular as other genres right now. That means this Music Hall of Fame is gonna focus on all the pop, R&B, hip hop country of the past several decades rock and metal will be a thing of the past you will you will rarely ever see a rock or metal name nominated again if this becomes the music hall of fame if this becomes the music hall of fame a name like lenny kravitz probably never would have stood a chance and that sucks to say because I think he should go in. But if that's what this turns into, names on that level will never get nominated again. Still can't believe Peter Frampton's not in though. That is, that's like makes my brain itch just thinking about that. As I've done in the past, 
I'm going to take five names of who I think will go in this year, not who I want to go in, who I think will go in. There's a big difference. Ozzy's number one with a bullet. Easily done. Shares going in. You know why? Because it'll look great on stage and be a big presence. Get a lot of attention just for that. So that's two. Peter Frampton, number three. I can't see anyone not putting in Peter Frampton, even on the stuffy old out of touch board and all the people that do the voting in the committees and the people that actually do the ballots and the fan vote. Frampton's going in. So that's three right there. I'm three out of five. I don't think Oasis is going in now because of the statement. And also, I don't think they trust the Gallagher brothers on stage to accept an award. So I don't think it's going to be Oasis. Cool in the gang would be awesome to see. I don't think they're going to go in. A Tribe Called Quest, I think, should go in. I don't think they're going to go in. Jane's Addiction could be one. Maybe. They've been nominated so many times before. Foreigner's going in. So four. I'm up to four. Ozzy, Sheriff, Hampton, Foreigner. That's four right there. The longer I look the more argument I have against everyone. <laughs> See, this is Lenny's first year for eligibility. I think he should go in. I don't think he will go in. Oh, guys, it might be Dave Matthews Band. I don't think they would do Cher and Mariah Carey on the same year. I don't think they would have two iconic diva style performers on the same time. See, if it was a retirement speech, I think people would feel different. Again, I say that I'm aware they have a diehard fan base that sells out every concert they do. That's the point of Dave Matthews. And that's the only point. If Dave Matthews Matthews goes in, no one's going to have that much of an argument. They can't. Statistically, sales-wise, they've sold and done too much. How many number one, I don't know about number one, how many hits they had on the charts, how well their records sell, and their continued touring success. To be nominated or inducted to the Hall of Fame, is it really that prestigious of an award? I don't know about that. It's cool to see a list, and people do care, but it shouldn't be taken that serious. Think of the image at the end of the night. If my chosen nominees get up there, I'm not saying they will. I could be totally way off. But Ozzy, Cher, and Dave Matthews all stay sharing the stage at the same time, singing the same song in their three very distinctive vocal patterns might actually destroy people like Dova King shouting in Skyrim. Those three, Ozzy's estate now, Dave Matthews mumbling and Cher's super drenched auto tune all combining forces into this threatening shout of noise and weird music. Ah, what a mess. What an absolute mess.